Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys uh, how to uh, do termination payments in payroll um, and report these amounts through single touch payroll. So I've set up this organization and I've set up an employee. Um, the um, key to termination payments are the tax codes. So I'm just going to go in to there and set one up now. Okay, these are just the default tax codes um, in payroll. Some interesting ones are the gross taxable pay. That's what's used on the, um, well, gross taxable pay or the normal time is the, the account that that gets linked to generally and uh, or anything else that you just want to tax uh, withhold tax from so that's the gross the tax itself is um, this tax code here and that's um, that's the pay as you go withheld um, so um, in this demo I think I'll just uh, pay someone a uh, lump sum A which is kind of a simple one um, and and uh, so let's see how we set that up so new tax code now um, for a lump sum A we're actually paying this is for the gross pay um, the tax withheld will be reported at the normal place on the um, payment summary um, in fact it's called income statement now with single touch payroll but um, we're still referring to it as payment summary in several places so um, let's call this lump sum A um, now sometimes there'll be a if you're setting something up it's got a gross component and a tax component so you could put dash gross um, just to indicate that um, this tax code is to attach to the gross uh, component um, in this case lump sum A is just gross there is no separate tax thing for it um, so I'll just put lump sum A active is true and classification reference I'll just put liability it's doesn't really matter um, on the bass you would put this as salaries and wages because it's subject to pay as you go withholding um, on the payment summary or now income statement it will go in the individual non-business section and it will be under uh, normally you would be your normal pay would go under individual non-business gross this is going to go under lump sum A um, on the tax side of things um, it's not applicable there is um, the, the tax is on a separate line on the pay slip and um, so it's going to be uh, not applicable and I, I don't think there is a um, lump sum a um, yeah okay so the, the tax on a lump on tax withheld against this um, will simply be um, recorded as pay as you go individual non business but on on that separate line on the pay slip so I'll save that okay now um, if you want to put this on a payslip you have to actually set up an account that links to this tax code okay so I'm going to set up a new account and I'll just call this one um, in fact I won't call it lump sum A because the employee um, won't um, understand that necessarily so um, I'm going to call this unused annual leave and um, unused annual leave is depending on the date um, not put in lump sum A but um, let's say this is a genuine genuine redundancy so unused annual leave depends on the date and whatever my intention with this video is not to, to give you accounting tips but show you how to use the software so 
you can work out what you need to do from an accounting perspective um, and then um, use these techniques to make it happen. Um, this is going to be an expense. Fact if true, uh, pi super is false because you don't get super on um, your annual leave payout. If you take annual leave, you get get it, but you don't get it on this. And the default tax code is the lump sum A. So this is where we link that lump sum A. Payment deduction type is earnings. It says earnings bracket including leave taken. There is a leave expense. Um, but that's for the accrual of leave and in the um, uh, cloud version of the software we've got the which is called bass off we've got the, um, the the leave accruals now you would normally actually pay them out based on the, the number of hours they're entitled to so it's one times their normal rate and then save okay having um, done that we can go and pay the employee to do that um, set up a new batch I've already paid them once in January and I'll just create a new batch and I'll call it February 2020 selecting just it's not important for these demos and dates okay go to the transactions and do a new pay slip to the demo employee now you could also pay them some normal time on this pay slip they might have worked some um, part of February and I'll pay them a hundred hours because that's part of the month I suppose um, and then add a line select the um, the unused annual leave and let's say they're entitled to 20 hours of leave to be paid out okay um, next thing to note is that the pay as you go withholding has just changed to this random large negative figure and that is actually to just force you to override it the system has just thrown up its hands and said doesn't know how to calculate this uh, as you go to withhold so um, and that's because there's different scales and it depends on so many different factors um, about when the leave was accrued or, or what's the reason for it and so on so anyway um, let's just say you worked out that the the as you go to withhold on this pay slip was 1200 um, you if you didn't notice what I did before there, I just over clicked override the tax calc yes. That enabled me to um, go into this box and type the amount of pays to go to withhold. Okay, now what you need to do when you're doing these um, pay slips is review this pay event info. You need to review it anyway, of course, but um, you'll need to um, especially review it here and you know change the setup of the tax code if it's not looking right so the first part is is just their details like the tax file number date of birth address whatever um, and then we've got this um, it's quite normal to oh, sorry this year to date amount section okay so um, if you if you're not aware the this pay event info section that is the section that goes to the ATO. All of this other stuff doesn't actually go to the ATO with lodgement. Um, this is the section that goes to the ATO and all of this information is what goes to the ATO. Um, now, um, in here, uh, you've got this section individual non-business and that's just the normal section that you would uh, see. Um, you've got the gross and the tax withheld and then um, um, the next section is unused annual long serve leave payment. So this is the section that um, that the the uh, lump sum A is being reported in. Um, now you can see that the the, the six hundred dollars has come come through to the lump sum A, which is exactly where we want it. Uh, 
and so all good um, if that was not what you wanted then you just simply go back and uh, adjust the setup um, and, uh, and and try it in a different box or whatever and until you get it right um, with lump sum a it's a little bit unusual in that you uh, have to select one of these options here as well okay uh, mostly you, you don't have to select the uh, a code but um, in any case I'm going to select R which is the genuine redundancy box below that there's a super contribution and that's just pretty standard for um, for this um, for each every payslip Okay, one other thing that you might want to do on this, because this is probably the final pay for this employee, you can actually flag it to final pay for the financial year, yes. And that means that it's it's flagged with the ATO that the employee can use this information to do their tax return. Um, uh, and if an employee is terminated, they, they can actually request the um, income statement or formally pay as you go payment summary to be issued early so that they can go and do their um, tax return and I guess there's various reasons that like they might even be leaving the country or something that they might want to do their tax return early um, most people just wait till year end but you know um, either way you can just set that to yes okay if you're happy with that that's that's it there that's all there is to it you just save that and um, uh, goes through on the normal lodgement of the um, um, uh, payslip or single touch payroll lodgement. So, yeah, I hope this um, uh, video has been useful to you and thanks for watching.